Good morning, guys. This is Saturday at 7 a.m. What am I doing up at 7 a.m. for cybersecurity specialists? The guys who usually stay up to like midnight and on uh, researching and doing crap that you shouldn't be doing. Well, I'm usually an early bird and 7 o'clock is actually pretty late for me already. Although you could probably hear it in my voice. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning and that's normal every day without without even like batting an eye. Five o'clock, I'm up, right? Uh, nature calls and I have to go and I'm up since then. So anyway, I'm doing this video today because uh, there was a nice question that was proposed to me on my last video. And, you know, it, it's a transitioning video. Now, I'm not, not video editing transitions, but a transition from another profession into cybersecurity. But before I continue, I want to point out that you guys have been amazing, but it will be even more amazing if these non-subscribers just help me click on that subscribe button because it really helps me out. It really brings me uh, wanting to do more videos and showing you guys that, you know, I have some knowledge up here and I could share that with you guys. And, you know, the more that I see as this channel grows and, and there's some positive reinforcement and some positive responses to it then i i would love to do more videos answering your questions like i am going to be doing today so we can see right here the guys who are actually interested in all the cyber stuff uh are male uh, for the most part all right we, we still have 3.9 percent. well at least on my channel i, I don't know about uh, other channels <laughs> uh and the age range which is very very um young professional 25 to 34 and you guys are starting your journey into looking a for a full-time profession, a job, a something, a career, mind you, to, you know, whether it's to fund your investment, you know, portfolio or your properties, or, you know, you want to grow a family, you want to settle down, you want to buy a house, all these things, right? Uh, you know, everything works together like a chain. You know, you want to find a great job, something that pays in high income. Uh, whether you start your own business, maybe even a cybersecurity consulting firm, if, if you're good enough to do all that. I mean, that even comes with more stress. But so if you haven't done so, let's hit that subscribe button and also that like button and comment below. Give me some questions. Give me some ideas on what you would like to hear from a channel like this, because, uh, uh, you know, there's other channels out there. There's a lot of cybersecurity channels talking about certifications and, you know, landing a, a six figure job. But I, I'm going to come on here and tell you the truth of what I've been experiencing, what I go through and what I have been going through. Uh, you know, it may not relate to everyone, but you know, it's a sense of what's reality sometimes because we could all read the news and we could all read the social media posts like, oh, you could land six figures making up to $200,000 for this job. But it doesn't tell you that you have to be on call or, you know, you, you're working up to two, three in the morning, you know, and you're dead tired. Uh, it could be on the weekend whatever it is right you have to cancel your plans so anyway let's go into this video today and this was the from my last video which is how to find more cybersecurity to jobs so this person asked gary right here gary uh perkins am i i, I think i'm saying that correctly or at least the the username i'm seeing gary l perkins and the third at least i think that's what that means right the the three eyes anyway your channel is fire. Love the daily content. I appreciate that. Enjoy doing it as much as you like watching it. I'm a network engineer looking to transition to a cybersecurity. So any videos to help are greatly appreciated. So here, Gary, and I, this is what I said. Note it. All right. I'm going to thumbs up you and myself. Note it. So what am I going to do? What What is it that you can do? Right. And I'm going to keep this question here a little longer so we can all absorb it while I'm talking about it. So here's one thing I could do or one thing I would suggest. You're a network engineer and it almost sounds like you already in a job, you're working somewhere and whether it's big or small, you, you have a group of IT individuals. The fact that you're saying you're in network engineer, um, I, I'm, and I'm you know, I'm just trying to absorb what I'm reading from this and what I'm uh, gathering is if you are. And, and this is what I would do. And the first thing when I first read your question is this is what I would go to in my organization. 
if there's a security individual or engineer or possibly a CISO or maybe a, a one-man show, right? If time allows you during your day, I would shadow this person just for a little bit. And maybe have a schedule a meeting or, or ask them if you're close with them, schedule something with them where you can see something within the organization that they're working on that you're, you know, potentially they would allow you to be a, a participant in, right? Maybe a Zoom call with a vendor or maybe a Zoom call with a troubleshooting issue. Ask them because, I mean, if you are already working and you're already an employee and you're a network engineer for the company, I mean, you, you practically have all the keys in your hands anyway. Like, there's no security risk in that. You know, you're not um, the HR lady or uh, some accountant wanting to learn more about cybersecurity because you, you watch Mr. Robot a few times, right? So you have this knowledge of network engineer, which is really crucial in my opinion, because the whole foundation of cybersecurity was built on networking, right? Uh, before all this cybersecurity stuff, if you go all the way back to the late 90s and early 2000s, I mean, we can go further back, but I mean, we were just talking about computers. We were just talking about internet. There was no security. My, my first like decade of computers didn't have any antivirus. If I got hit with a virus, or at least I thought whatever was a virus, or you wouldn't have known what, a, what was a virus then. Uh, you just knew that, oh, shoot, I got this whole bunch of ads popping up on my desktop. What the hell is it? Right? Did I click on something? And and then you kind of learn as you went on, right? I'm a little sidetracking, but point is, you have a great knowledge in, in the background of the foundation of what where cybersecurity became to where it is now, right? All this internet stuff, all these routers, switches, computers, desktops, servers, all those components became what it is now, right? Websites, active, you know, uh, APIs and and uh, a whole bunch of like, you know, dynamics, uh, EDRs replaced, uh, you know, antiviruses, all that good stuff, right? And the firewalls and, and all these security measures we're putting in place. And that's where the foundation became cybersecurity. Now you want to jump into network engineer. I mean, you want to jump away from network engineer. I wouldn't lose that portion of it. If you're a network engineer right now, or whether you have your like CCNA, uh, you know, that track from Cisco offers uh, security, right? They, they, they all focus on cybersecurity now. Not, not one vendor has not jumped on that bandwagon for that marketing uh, concept to promote all of that now. Uh, Cisco being one of them. And I, I want to I wanna see if I can actually find something from Cisco. Um, CCNA security, I believe they, they have broken it down to many levels of, well, this is CPT Nuggets, but maybe we want to try the official Cisco. And I'm sure it's a lot out there. Uh, you know, when during the time when I got my, my Cisco certification was, there was security was like a add-on after the fact, but now they're implementing it to every level of the, you know, certification track. Now, I'm not just saying that Cisco is the only one. There, there's plenty more. There's a lot of free training out there, right? Get your hands on that. Um, from the networking engineer perspective, depending on which side of cybersecurity. So you didn't, you know, I, I know cybersecurity, you're saying it right here. It's very broad. Like what, what's, which portion component do you want to do? I know guys who are cybersecurity, they manage the, you know, advanced firewalls, right? They, they work with uh, Zscaler all day, uh, setting policies, URLs, and, and, you know, investigating, you know, bottlenecks and all that. And then there's guys who uh, manages the IPS and IDSs, uh, tipping point for, for that case. And they're managing that or they're in watching the SIM. Then they're looking at the SIM all day, looking for, you know, what, what's standing out the most, what IP is going out and, and where's these destination? What are these sources? Why are they doing this? What ports are all open and why are they communicating on it? Right? So I, I know this was very general. But because you have this networking knowledge, you have networking engineer and whether, you know, you're in a position or not right now, you have a lot of very, very needed knowledge, right? You're not going to be sitting there doing writing policies all day. Not, not that I can see, because to be honest, this is where I came from. Networking engineer, 
right? I, I started off because most of us pre cybersecurity days were mostly IT guys, whether you're desktop support, uh, you know, configuring networks with, you know, on switches and routers and, and local LANs until offices, you know, became worldwide and you had these VPNs and so on and so forth. A lot of things became a, a component of cybersecurity because all of that VPNs between remote offices was all about security. Why that was the whole purpose of a VPN, right? So your knowledge is very crucial in this role of developing, maintaining, and the future of cybersecurity. I hope I answered your question uh, to this full extent, but you know, if you want to go a little deeper, respond back to me. In, in this video, this is strictly for you right now, Gary. <laughs> well, you and everyone else who's subscribing to this channel right now. So I want to thank you guys and appreciate, uh, again, if you're watching for the first time, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be pushing out more videos because, you know, that's, that's what I love to do. All right. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.